So I have some warm water and some ice water and three light sticks. I'm going to set off the light sticks, hopefully all at the same time, and I'll put one in the middle as a control, one in the warm water, and one in the cold water, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to mix them all up. The way these work is that they actually have an inner part that has hydrogen peroxide in it, and then the outer part that actually has the thing the hydrogen peroxide reacts with. And part of the reaction is the emission of light, so it's an exothermic reaction. It's just what they call a cool reaction. In other words, it doesn't get hot, but it is giving off energy by virtue of glowing. And we'll let these equilibrate to their temperatures and compare them and see what happens. The construction of these are all identical, so whatever is going on should all be a factor of the temperature and not actually anything else. So let me see if I can help it along here. So here's the cool one. And here's the warm one. So the warm one appears to be quite a bit brighter. The cold one appears to be quite a bit dimmer. And that's because the chemistry is sped up when it's warm and slowed down when it's cold. That's why when you cook at a higher temperature, things cook faster. I'm going to take the cold one, put it in hot. Hot one, put it in cold just to see what happens. My control is still in the middle. So some of you may have heard that they last longer when you put them in the freezer, and that's because the chemistry slows down until you warm them back up and then they get brighter again. They all have the same amount of chemicals in them, so the same amount of light comes out. Question is just how fast. I do like the eeriness of these guys. So that one looks like it's now dimmer the, than the control, and that one is brighter than the control. So it actually isn't the individual light sticks, it's actually the temperature changing them.